Hi, my name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My thing is helping you as a side hustler, as a solopreneur, or as another non-traditional entrepreneur. Today we're gonna to talk about using quitting as a superpower. Particularly here in America, we always talk about that you need to fight the good fight, that quitters never win and winners never quit, etc. That is not true. I've done entire TED Talks about it. You should quit, you should quit regularly but you have to have the right framework for quitting. A good framework actually comes from Jerry Seinfeld. You probably know him as a comedian. He does um, comedians in cars drinking coffee, I think it is. I love the show, but I always screw up the name of it. That's what he's known for now. But of course he's known for his uh, titular role in, in his really popular show Seinfeld back in the 90s and early aughts. But he was talking to Oprah Winfrey, I found a classic interview where he talked about quitting because he actually ended the show at the peak of Seinfeld Dumb back in the 90s. And this is what he said to Oprah. I want to make sure I get this quote right. There's that moment when you're on the stage. Remember, he's a stand-up comedian. That's his background. There's this, that moment where you're on the stage and it takes years to learn it, that this is the moment. And you just get off stage and then the audience gets excited and another five minutes can bring them to a completely different place knowing when to get off the stage knowing when to stop knowing when to end it there are two really powerful things in this there's a lot of them but let's break down two really quickly number one you have to make room for success when i did my last startup it was called cuddler we had a quarter million users. We were on the cover of the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. Uh, if you Google Cuddler, C-U-D-D-L-R, or watch any of the videos on this channel, then you can see some of that history. It was a crazy history. And also I was a primary caretaker of my baby at the time. So it was an amazing, amazing ride. It really informed the Bites as Entrepreneur, which again, y'all helped make a bestseller. We were on the cover of the Wall Street Journal in January of that year, 2015. By around Valentine's Day, about six weeks later, myself and my two co-founders, we all looked at each other, particularly me and, and one of the other co-founders looked at each other. And I didn't even say anything. I just looked and I was just like, this is it. It's time to go. Let's ride off into the sunset. And so we started entertaining offers for acquisition. And then we ended up getting acquired a few months later, shortly after my son's second birthday, as I talk about in the Bite Says Entrepreneur. We knew when to quit. Um, my main thing is culture and I'm good with finding the waves. I've spent my life finding the waves. Journalism, which is my background, helps with that. You have to find out your own rhythm. Um, I found that in journalism and now I find that in coaching, in music, because I'm really into music. Seinfeld found that because he was a stand-up comedian for 15 years. So by the time NBC gave him a show and it was number one show in America, perhaps in the world, for years, he knew when to quit. Just like I knew it was time to wrap up Cuddler. And come to find out the culture that we had created was about to go go away. So we left at the right time because we already made the impact that we were going to make. But it took a lot for us to say, we have a quarter million users, we're going to end right now because this is the perfect experience and we're going to end it. We already made our impact on the world. I can talk about that for ages. I've talked about that in keynotes. You can look it up again on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Brown Damon or grab any of my books and I talk about that experience. But you have to know when to stop. That's just as important as knowing when to start. And you're able to make room for success. If I didn't end Cuddler, then number one, we wouldn't have gotten acquired in that same way. Number two, I wouldn't have started my ink column, which eventually led to the Bites as Entrepreneur and to my new one, Go from now and to you. So if I didn't know when to quit, I wouldn't be doing the great work that I'm doing now. Hopefully great. <laughs> That's my intention, right? So you have to make room for success, but that often means ending something else. Number two, you get the power of choice. When you quit, when you say, I'm going to end it right now, you're actually using purpose, clarity, thinking about it and saying, this is when the experience should end. You have that power. When you're getting pulled off the stage like the proverbial Sandman over at the Apollo Theater, if you know the Apollo Theater, you know what I'm talking about. If you're getting pulled off stage, you've lost the power of choice. And in fact, the audience is booing you. It's done. You just didn't realize that. And there's a few reasons behind that we can get into another, in another discussion. One of those reasons is ego. You have to put your ego aside and say, this ride is almost done. We want to stay in the driver's seat. 
we want to stay, in my case, on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. In Seinfeld's case, we want to stay the number one, number one show on NBC and making, you know, $100 million a year. We want to stay in that position, even though we know the sun is setting. So you have to know when to quit. That is a superpower in itself. And the success that I've had in my, my brief career, that comes from knowing when to stop as much as it is knowing when to start. If you want more insight into your own resources and to build your own great stuff, come over to buildfromnowquiz.com. That's buildfromnowquiz.com. It's a free quiz. It's two or three questions. It'll take you two minutes. Hundreds of y'all have taken it already. It's based on my new book, Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. And it'll give you the biggest and best resources you have right now, whether it's focus, agility, time, or energy, knowing what your biggest strength is, and that in itself is the biggest battle. I talk about that in the new book, but even if you just take the quiz, you'll walk away with something greater, hopefully, indeed. Remember, always know when to quit, and that you can always bring your worth, and that you should always build from now. Take care.